Yo guys, in the last few days, Halo Infinite has had some crazy big leaks drop from seemingly finished assets like the DMR to a playable Falcon and even new weapons, dude. There's no sponsor for today's video, so we're just gonna get straight on into the leaks. So, first off, we've all got our DMR, and uh, in this case, I guess it's called the Bandit Rifle, but obviously, no one knows if this is going to be changed by the time it enters the game, hopefully in Season 3, but what we can tell is that it's probably going to fit a roll in between the Sidekick and the Commando, as it takes 5 shots to kill a Spartan fully shielded with a headshot after the crack, and it obviously has no scope, so that takes long-range engagements out of the question for, you know, average players. But in any case, this looks to be a great new addition to the sandbox, so I, I can't wait for it to come to the game in all honesty. I've always loved the DMR, I don't even care that it doesn't have a scope. Moving on though, we've got the Falcon also, which has been making the rounds here on YouTube for obvious reasons. But I mean, it's only taken 343 three, three games to get it out, but what can I say, they've actually changed it, and I wholeheartedly approve of them, actually. The changes I'm talking about specifically, if you don't already know, is that one side is your regular chain gun, while the opposite is actually a grenade launcher, and that's not all. Uh, you can also fire from the resting position in the middle of the Falcon, which, in my opinion, is pretty badass. I've always wanted to be able to do that. Now, the other thing I do kind of wonder is if you can swap places in the Falcon, please, for the love of God, tell me yes. I want my teammate to jump out and then me be able to swap to the driver's seat. I just, I have to be able to do that, bro. Uh, one thing that does concern me a little bit, though, is Forge. Just because I hope there are variants you can spawn in, like the gunner version, you know, where the pilot can shoot, or exclusively a chain gun version, or a grenade launcher variant, you know, to a lesser extent, the transport falcon. Anyways, but, you know, enough of the old stuff being added to the game. We've got brand new weapons, one of which is a banished LMG, fully fit with disruptor rounds and a giant stock to bash people's brains out. Personally, I I am totally down with an LMG in Halo that isn't the saw. It'll be a nice change of pace. I mean, plus, you boy just love some heavy suppressive firepower, but that is not all. No, 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 no. I don't think so. We have even more, bruh, bruh. In the files, we've also found a plasma liquidator. I just want to stress, too, though, that we knew about these a long time ago, and there were actually some more weapons, if I remember correctly, that just aren't in the game yet. Um, but these ones, we've actually been able to see with our own two eyes now, like animation-wise and everything. But this one in particular plays like a... I guess a mobile plasma turret, which now that I think about it, we, we only really have in campaign, unless I'm just forgetting something. Anyways, we've also found a double barrel shotgun. This one is super early in dev time, I would assume. I mean, it literally only has animations. There's no model. It just has double barrel shotgun on the side. I mean, it's cool. But I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I, I just don't understand why this is coming before the classic shotgun. I mean, we, we literally have nothing like it. The closest thing we have, I guess, is the scatter shot and the bulldog. But like those two are completely separate in my opinion. And I'd assume that this will drop around the time 343 gives us infection. Just for the record, I say 343 giving us infection because the week forge drops, apparently we're getting a version of it made by the community. Uh, shout out to all you guys. But my timeline, for infection personally is that we will not be getting it officially until around halloween you know season three time so i would assume that this shotgun will be ready by then because how are you supposed to have infection otherwise that's just my opinion on that as halloween would be an easy time for them to give us another event pass and then last but not least we have a fully functioning piece of equipment people are speculating are going to be added during season three called the shroud screen now this is like a smoke screen of sorts, nobody can see in or out of the bubble, but shots can be fired both ways, complete with shots fired inside not appearing on your radar. Uh, I'm for one super stoked about this, I wasn't really on board with it to begin with, and I won't lie, the more and more I think about it, the more I see it being super, super sick. <laughs> So that that's just about it though. I mean, I really am excited about all these different things, hopefully coming very soon to Halo Infinite. Obviously it'll be at least another three months before we get any of this, unfortunately. But I think this goes to show that we do have a light at the end of this Halo Infinite tunnel, I guess you could say. But with all that being said, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up as well. Halo Infinite also got a patch today at 10 a.m. Pacific time, assuming I didn't post this beforehand. 
hopefully it's fixing some issues like the Rakshasha armor core and the congratulations appearing after every game if you completed both battle passes, which trust me, it is not fun. If you haven't experienced it yourself, I wish I was you. Anyways, <laughs> with all that stuff out of the way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. My dog is over here mm, because she knows if you didn't like and subscribe, then you're not a real one. But anyways, be a real one. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Sayonara.